Hello and welcome back to the 25th episode of a nostalgia playthrough of Close Combat 3 Cross of Ion Grand Campaign with the Germans on Elite Difficulty. Now, a couple of episodes ago we played this map and uh, crushed the enemy on it uh, already, so let's hope we can repeat that. I want to see if I can upgrade this Panzer 4 to a Tiger, and yes I can, fantastic, so we're going to do that. We now have three Tigers of Ferdinand and a couple of Tank Destroyers plus another 88 gun. Uh, so let's see how it goes. I think we have a pretty, pretty solid force, to be honest. Looking at my roster, I am not hating on it. So we're gonna just rinse and repeat the previous strategy here. Put all our infantry the fuck away. So they don't get hit by mortars if they get spotted. We're gonna put the Ferdinand up here on the fend together with our Tigers. And uh, we'll see if this gun can, yes, it's got good reach from there. So we'll just put that on the fend there as well. There's another tiger. Yeah, we have three tigers now, in fact, so uh, we can put a tiger over here as well. Yep, that should do. Defend, and we'll have these TDs over here. The Stu, the Storm variant tanks. We'll have to move fast, take position on this little slope here, and that's pretty much a rinse and repeat of last time, except we now have a stronger force. Let's begin. Okay, something's been spotted, the Ferdinand's turning to deal with it. It's another captured Panzer IV. And it's blasted to oblivion. Fantastic. Alright, uh, is that a new tank we're seeing there? Yes, that's a tank. Okay, can we just... Uh, thank you. Okay, we're going to move our Tigers in and we're going to keep the other tanks supporting the advance. Should anything pop up on a hill, as they will be able to more quickly and rapidly respond to that. Oh, look at that, they have a KV-1S just in the open, huh? Uh, that should be no problem to take out. It's immobilized. Not sure if driving a tiger in front of him like this is the best choice I've ever made in my life, but... The Stug 3G is damaged. Can we finish this guy, please? There we go, can we get a shot off? Why are you guys not shooting? Reloading... Um... Okay, pretty much half the crew and then some is dead here, 60% of the crew. Okay, they abandoned the tank, that's good. Um, we're just gonna keep pushing up, they want a truce right now, we did take out an armored vehicle right there. But there will be no such thing as a truce, there will be absolute annihilation or surrender. Up to you guys. I'm fine either way, as long as we win. We're definitely not giving them a truce. Every time we do give them a truce, they will have much more requisition points out of that truce than us do to the difficulty we're playing on, so... You will really give the enemy a breather by giving them a truce, and you won't necessarily gain that much yourself. So if you got the momentum up, then just keep it going, I'd say. Just avoid the mines, push through, three tigers should be enough to clear out this. And the rare guard here taking on anything that dares to peek up on a hill. This should be fine and effective. Ah, we got the tiger here, we can just move him a little bit further. Actually, let's waypoint him slightly so I don't have to micromanage the shit out of him. We're gonna go like that. And we're gonna get these tigers to the hilltops and keep our advance going. Uh, the Ferdinand's a bit slow, so I can't really be bothered to move it in. And uh, we'll see what happens. We probably won't even need these 88s that much uh, in the future if we can keep these Tigers, because having a mobile 88 is much better than having a stationary one. guess that kind of goes without saying, but uh, yeah, there you have it. Alright. I'm liking our new Tigers. Oh, hello. Uh, that looks like kind of a bazooka or something on that guy there, so... Steep angle. That's unfortunate. We're gonna push in a little bit anyway, though. Actually, we could... Yeah, there we go. Now we have an angle on them. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't let them rush you. Don't let them rush you. Tiger's immobilized. I don't really care if it's immobilized. That's not a biggie. Yeah, they don't really... It's an LMG infantry. They don't really have that much to deal with our Tiger with. Although they get close enough, they could really destroy it, but yeah, no, nah, we made them surrender. 
Gonna have to spend a bit of acquisition points to fix the tiger. That was a bad move. I could have just moved in from the side here, cleared it after this tiger without risking this tiger. So it was a bad decision on my part there to do it the way I did it. It didn't really bite us in the ass too badly, but a little bit for sure. So we just move this tiger over here now. And, uh, oh well, we'll just start moving this tiger as well. Uh, yeah, sometimes, I mean, I got a little bit cocky there. I knew it wasn't smart to get too close to that infantry. I just kind of hoped for the best. And, uh, well, one guy got slightly injured. And that's pretty much the extent of it. Okay, we got some infantry down in the trench there as well. That we should certainly try to take out so they don't do the same to this tiger. But it looks like we're good. We can actually probably just move in, get closer and finish up uh, with that last guy there. Well, he does have shots in that, but whatever. Why is this tiger not moving uh, over here? Or being extremely ineffective with his maneuvering. Also, I'm wondering why they haven't fled the battlefield yet. Hmm. Okay, that was a heavy machine gun team. Now... Gone. Now let's actually just put some focused effort into killing this. If we could. Yeah, they're done. That's the commander team, okay. Alrighty then. Uh, we're gonna just start pushing over the next hill and see what we see on the other ridge line. What just happened? Someone step oh wow. I guess he didn't want to spend his uh, his days in a uh, concentration camp. Neither did that guy. Okay, we got some more infantry. And uh, if they got to flee there, that's stupid. They should be captured now. There's no way they would run at our tigers there and get away with that. With the li or get away from that with the lives intact. But yeah, we had zero casualties, and no, they were not captured. But we did capture a tank, we kept, uh, destroyed three armored vehicles and or tanks, killed 19 people, wounded 11, and took three prisoners. So, so far, we are steamrolling and snowballing a bit here. But the further into the game you get, the harder it's going to be to... Well, not necessarily harder. I mean, we've gotten to the point where we're doing that now. But, um, yeah, soon... Uh, Soon we'll be in Berlin, and the Russians will have massive requisition point reserves. So, yeah, we need to keep our stuff alive, because later on it's going to be harder to replace it. Much, much harder. Either way, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video, and or maybe even subscribe to my channel. Both of those things would certainly help me out, and I'd appreciate it. So... Yeah, with that, I bid you farewell. You can catch me in the next one. So, have a good one.